In this video here, I wanted to go over three tips to help you when your horse is out there and you're lunging them and they tend to pull and lean on you and they want to kind of leave the circle and they're almost like they're dragging you around. So I was just going to show you with Silvertail here, we've been working a lot on this, getting his rhythm going and he's getting the rhythm going pretty good. But now his tendency is to kind of to just to go out there and go and then lean and almost drag me around. And it's not bad at the walk, it's more at the trot. So I've already warmed him up a little bit, so I'll just take him on out into the trot and see where he's at here with that. And as he's going around, he his mind is leaving me and is going out and so there's it's not bad but there's a bit of a feel more lean more hold more pressure in my hand than I would like and in the beginning for a lot of horses that is there to help them or they're doing that partly because it helps them to balance partly because their mind's leaving. So they're using the feel on their nose to kind of balance into it. And then they're going around. So what we want to do is get to where they can actually balance themselves, hold themselves on the circle and stay on that circle without leaning on us, making us hold them up and in there. So part of that is mentally, they're out and gone, he's leaving. And the other part is a physical thing, is, is he's not bending through his whole body. So the three things I want to share with you is, is, the first thing is, is just putting him out on a circle. You decide how small the circle can be, how small can he handle, and then pretty much get fixed and say, can you stay out there on that circle? Keep going. So I'm going to give him this length here, and I'm not going to walk with him. I'm just going to turn, and I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to say, can you find your own space, your own balance, and I'm just going to be a fixed post here, keeping you going. And every time he kind of comes off, I'm like, ah, that's it, with my body, with my hand that's holding the line. Make sure I'm not pulling it, I'm just holding it. And see, what I've been doing a lot is just been going out and walking around, and if I do that, he's, it's a lot easier for him to maintain the rhythm, because I'm kind of going with him. Now if I plant my feet, then we're getting more interruption in his rhythm. And if you're getting a lot of that, then you might have to go with a bigger circle. So I've still got a few feet here. I'll just let him have the whole rope here and see if that helps him. The trick here is, is to find that middle ground of what can he handle, how small can he handle, but don't make it too small where he can't do it, where it's really hard for him. So this is better. So he's handling that. I'm just saying, can you keep going? Find a feel, a soft feel in my hand. And it's not that I don't want any feel, I just want a soft communicating feel, not one that's where he's leaning on me. See, he tends to always stop over there, but it's getting a little better and a little better. Every time he stops, I'm just like, nope, keep going. So that's the first thing, is just get him out there and fix your feet and say, this is the size circle I want. And that's pretty good. As he gets it at that size, we can make it smaller. And we'll change direction, you did pretty well there. So that direction there, we're pretty much having to use the whole length of the rope. We'll see on this side because different side, each side is going to be different with your horse. Usually it is, not always, but usually. 
So now we're going to see how much rope does he need on this side. So on this side he has a more bend in the neck, but we don't have forward. So I'm saying let's go. So his shoulder's leaving, he's, he's kind of worried. So I'm just hanging out with him. I'm going to give him a little more rope here, give him a little more space. Because I slapped with the whip, now he's a little bit worried, so I have to just keep reassuring him it's okay, it's fine. Can you keep going? Can you maintain that rhythm? He's leaning quite a bit on my hand, so I'm just keep helping him, keep reassuring him it's okay. Can you keep going? And again, what I've normally, what I have been doing with him is as I've been walking around with him. So there, when you have that float going on, it makes it a lot easier for him. And in the beginning, that's great. You want to do that. But now we're getting to the point where I can start fixing my feet and just rotating with him. And just holding, getting to where he can find that on his own. Can he create his own balance here and find that? And every time he softens into my hand, I'm like, oh, thank you. There. Not bad. And I'll let him have that. So I'm going to invite him in. So that's the first thing is just go out and become fixed in your feet and just give him a, an exact length of line. And you're saying, that's the length of line that I want. Can you get soft in my hand there? Now, that's going to get you to a certain point and then they'll, some horses it, it makes a great, a lot of difference to, other horses it doesn't make much difference to. They'll keep doing it to you. So if they keep doing it to you, the second thing that you can play with is when your horse is out there, and we'll just get them going here. And I've got the feel, when he has that feel in my hand or he's leaning on me, I'm going to pick, typically I'm going to pick the inside hind, but it may be any one of the four feet. And when the foot leaves the ground, I'm going to squeeze my hand that's on the lead rope. It's like I'm going to squeeze a trigger on a gun. It's not much, it's just a little bit of a squeeze when the foot leaves the ground. So when his inside hind foot leaves the ground, I'm going to squeeze and release. Just a tiny bit. Don't, it's, it's not a lot, it's just a little bit. If you're pulling a trigger on a gun, it's just a slight feel. And we're doing that in time with the foot. Because a big part of why the horse is leaning on you is because they're not bending through the rib cage. So if he's not bending through the rib cage, when his inside hind leaves the ground, so I can do now, now, now. And I usually just do it in threes. And a little bit of change, not a lot, so I'll do it again. So when it leaves, and now, now, now. Tiny bit. It actually slowed him down a little bit and he bent into me. So I'm like, ah, oh, thanks for paying attention to that. And that's what it'll do is sometimes it slows him down. Sometimes it causes him to really bend. But can I get him to flex just a little bit more? So the idea is, is when he picks that foot up is and I just put a feel on his nose, like there, that was a tiny bit and actually stopped him. Causes him to flex his body a little bit more. So it's, it's almost like you're doing this. I'm, 
picking his nose, drawing his nose this way as this foot leaves the ground, saying, can you just flex through your body? It's just a little bit. Don't do a lot of pull or a lot of feel. And if you're not getting much response with that foot, pick a different one. Usually it's the inside that you're going to get more effect with, but not always. So not too bad there. He's actually got a, a little bit of a loop. But if he leans, so I'll do the inside front this time. And now, oh, and I have to actually shut him off, so it was too much. But what I like is, is he's getting softer in my hand. He's slowing down. And this uh, getting in time with their feet is a huge thing. There's a lot you can do with it. So I'm just showing you here how to help the horse flex a little bit as he's going along. You're just putting a tiny feel which creates more of a bend through the body. If they were going too fast, you can put a feel on their nose to help slow them down, which he tends to do sometimes, is he gets going really fast. And when he does that, I can get in time. Usually I get in time with the inside front when it's landing, but he's not doing too bad here. So I'm going to, first I'm just observing him. What does he need? So it's, really he's pretty good here. He's not leaning too much. A little bit over here helping him. So can I put a feel when his inside hind leaves the ground? Now, now, and that two was enough. Maybe one's enough. And we're doing it at the trot here. You can do this at the walk too. It's kind of fast, you know, getting in time with it all. Yeah, I like that because he started to relax and come through his body. So that's the second thing is just getting in time with the horse's feet and putting a feel on the line saying, can you flex? Can you soften? Maybe can you slow down a little if they're going too fast? The third thing is, can you create a little weave? So if I ask him out, you want your horse, when he's out there, to have just as much want to come into you as to go out on that circle. If your horse does not even want to come into you, then, you know, the, why would you expect them to get off the line? They're going to lean on it because they don't really want to be up to you, close to you. So if you have a lot of where the mind is going out, you're going to spend more time with them coming up, hanging out with you, and then sending them out. So there's different variations of this. We've done quite a bit of bringing, allowing him to come in and stop. So now I'm going to progress it into, I'm going to ask him to go out on that circle and we're just going to do it at the walk here. If he trots, that's his business. And then I'm going to invite him in a couple steps. And then I'm going to say, can you take your shoulder back out again? So it's like I'm going to ask for a little bit of a, serpentine or a weave or can I bring his front in send it out invite him in and take him back out again so I start to get control over that shoulder and that's what I'm really looking for I invite him in yeah and then I Send them out. Can you create a dance with this? And if he goes into the trot, same thing. I invite him to me and ask him back out. 
Nice. And then you do a number of them, draw them back in, and bring them all the way in and say, ah, oh, thank you for that. And then we'll send them out the other way. So after you've done a number of the weaves, bring them in, give them a moment, and then you can send them out the other direction. And I'm going to invite them in, ah, a little bit, and then say, hey, can you go back out there? This is a fun one because it gets the horse paying attention to you, and they're going, which way are you going? Do I come in? Do I go out? Where do you want me to go? So I invite him in and out. And now I'm going to ask him to trot and we'll do a little bit at the trot. This way here he tends to overbend in his neck. So I want to be able to get control of that shoulder and that's where inviting him in. When you invite in at the trot is, is you might need to go with them a little bit as you're coming back. And then you kind of like open up, push them out with your tummy and say, let's go again. And then I'm gonna invite him in. I'm gonna go in the direction he's going a little bit. Invite him and head back up. So we're just doing tiny weaves. He's still kind of stalling out. A little better. And go back. Eventually we'll get to the point where he'll be able to maintain yeah, that trot. And bring him on in. That last one was, was good there getting him to pay attention to that draw, that receiving him, allowing him to come in. And he goes, oh, goody, I get to come in. Oh, let's go back out again. And this can progress into eventually a change of direction where we're drawing them all the way in. They can come all the way in and halt, or they can come part way in and you can say, hey, let's go back the other way. So this is the beginning of that, progressing that. So with all of that, let's go out and see, did this make a difference? With all that suppling and moving him around, did it make a change? So I'm gonna put him back out on the trot circle, giving him this much line. See, I'm shorter than I was and this is beautiful. He's soft, he's in my hand, he's not tugging on me, he's paying attention to me. And receive him and allow him to come back into me. So I really, really like that. That was very nice silver tail. And that's a lot of what's going on when they're leaning on you is they're, they're mentally disengaged and they're physically stiff. So those are three different ways that you can work with that. A recap on how to help your horse not to lean on you as you're lunging is work on three different things. The first one is, is just putting them out there on the circle, circling around, and can you be fixed and get them to find the length of rope that you have. You're not gonna make it too small but you're gonna make it smalling, small enough to where it challenges them a little bit. If you have a huge, it makes it, they can do that pretty easy. And then you slowly start making it a little smaller and a little smaller. So the circle itself really helps them to flex and bend and know where to be. So that's number one. Number two is getting in time with the horse's feet. 
can you put a slight feel on the lead rope, like you're pulling a trigger, and get them to flex a tiny bit, or you're just putting that feel on the nose to say, come tip your nose as the inside hind leaves the ground. And the third thing is, is can you ask them to do a little tiny serpentine where they come in and they go out, they come in and they go out. And you build on that, that little serpentine eventually turns into asking them to come all the way in and then it turns into actually being able to go off in the other direction. We'll go over those three things. So we get our trot going. Find the length of rope that he can handle. Keep him going. Find a fixed length of rope. So I'll go right about there. And can he come off of that or just get to where there's a feel where he's not pulling, he's not leaning. So that's the first thing is get your feet fixed, get a, a fixed length of line and create rhythm with that fixed length of line. Second thing is as he's going around, can I create a little bend in his body and I'm going to do that through squeezing my finger a little bit when his inside hind foot leaves the ground. So his inside hind leaves, I squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, and he actually slowed down but then he's like, oh, I better keep going. So I'm going to put that feel on right when that inside hind leaves, causes a little bit of flex, a little bit of bend through the body and helps them to come to us because you have that mental disengagement and then you where they're wanting to leave that's why they're leaning us this other thing is is because they're physically stiff it's hard for them so we're breaking up that stiffness with these tiny little feels so when his foot leaves the ground squeeze squeeze and like oh thanks it was almost too much because he's really paying attention to that but then he comes off and you may even have points where he's going along and it's only one side of the circle so like over here I can squeeze squeeze say come off up oh, keep going thank you very much so that's the second thing is just getting in time with their feet and creating a little feel little band through their body it's not a tug it's just a tiny little feel get them paying attention and the third thing is, is doing a little bit of a weave. Drawing him in and asking the shoulder back out. So it's kind of like, can you bring that shoulder to the inside of the circle a little, bring it out. And, and you want to get to where you can keep the trot going, but in the beginning they'll break eight like this. And I just keep helping them. Draw them in, and I can say, keep going, thank you very much, take the shoulder out. Ah, draw them in, and if he slows down, I can just sweep up with the lunge whip behind him. So right as I draw him in, I can sweep him to say, keep going, and back out. After a few of those, draw him all the way on in and reward them with that because if you do too much of it where he's always having to leave and go out he doesn't really want to be with you so it's those three things get to where you're out there going on a fixed length of rope and then second thing is is put a little feel get a little lift or when the inside hind lifts and leaves the ground just put a little tiny squeeze on the line to help flex them to stretch their body. And the third thing is to play with that weave back and forth.